My name is Xie Qian Zhang. People normally they will call me Qian. I'm from Anhui Province, China. Currently, I'm working at Kaplan Business School, and I'm the student experience officer at Adelaide Campus. The purpose of our team is to make sure students have a good time in Adelaide while they are studying and living here. They are supported to make sure they can adjust life in Adelaide easily, but also have a really good, successful life in the future. I love arts and culture, and Adelaide, South Australia, is a festival state, so it's really perfect for me. When I step into the plane, I was so excited to see this new country. Glenelg Beach is the first beach I've ever been to in my life. I got so excited to see the beach, it's just like a dream come true, and it's so pretty. I started to work and I feel like I have so much experience I want to share with new international students, and that's why I wanted to start my blog. It's called Chen's Aussie Diary, so it's all about my experience in Adelaide. My top five things in Adelaide is checking out the beaches, uh, Adelaide Central Market, nature and wildlife, beautiful wineries, and food. I really like food in Australia because Australia is a very multicultural country. We have a lot of very delicious food and from different countries. So that's why one of the places I really like to go to is Central Market. There are around 60 to 70 different stores there. So you can try different things every time. My passion is to bridge the culture gap because I feel like we have a lot of misunderstanding among nations. When I first came here and I feel like Australian English is really different, Australian friends invited me to come to her house for tea. And I feel like, oh, six o'clock for tea. So I have my dinner at around 5.30. So when I came to her house, she visited a very, like, a, you know, a table of very delicious food. And I was like, so what's this for? And she said, oh, this is tea. Oh, then I realized tea means dinner. We never heard that in China. Australians really like to say no worries because the Australians, they have very, very relaxed nature. So it kind of shows their attitude towards life, which I think is really good. People here, they're very expressive. While in China, we don't really say thank you that much. And we always like to put appreciation in the bottom of our heart, not say it, but show it in action. So it's a very different culture. I found bridging this culture gap is very meaningful and rewarding. It's a great way for me to have this opportunity to talk about my personal experience and inspire students to follow that dream, also give them the advice about how to have a good career in the future. I think moving to Australia really changed me a lot. My family will say like in terms of your confidence level and the way you're thinking things now is much more mature. I kind of have that mindset that if I really want to do something, just don't wait till the opportunity happens just to create your own path through those years. I really learned to listen to my intuition and I received so much kind help and support from people. You will find Australian people, especially Adelaide people, they are very friendly. They always encourage you to follow your dream. It's really good to have that motivation. Two things I really passionate about is how I can maximize my potential and second thing is how, how I can make a positive impact in the society. My advice for students is you really need to go out of your comfort zone. Just really try as much as you can to make the most of your time and to enrich your experience in Australia. For people who are considering to study overseas, I think you just need to do it, to follow your dream, follow your heart. 追随心中的梦想，你可以的。